baby. I don't know what you're going to be. I don't know what you're going to be. I don't know what you're going to be. Okay, so um, just quick mustache fixer upper real quick before I start. And thank you. Good morning. Good evening. Good day to you, wherever it may be out there in uh, your world. Um, I'm Rob Stewart with Holistic Health Activation, and um, I didn't, I wasn't planning on making this video, but um, I have a YouTube channel for the purpose of helping people. And when people ask for my opinion um, or ask for my help, that's what I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna deliver. So, um, like I said, I wasn't planning on shooting this video, but I'm, I'm going to anyway, because I've, I've gotten a, uh, a bevy of emails asking me, Hey Rob, what's your opinion about Dr. Doug Graham getting kicked out of the fruit, the Woodstock fruit festival scene? Um, so I'm not really a part of, I, I kind of am, but I'm kind of not, I, I'm not really a true 80 10 tenor at all um i'm not a fruitarian um i am fruit centric i eat a lot of fruit uh, i do think 80 10 10 is a great starting point for people looking to um re uh, reestablish great health in their body um but that's a topic for another video also i'm not a huge i'm not a huge i'm not doug graham's homie his best friend um i've been lucky i've been able to talk to him a few times through email um, throughout the last three, four years. Um, but I'm not someone on his, in his inner circle. I'm not someone who talks to him on a regular basis. Um, all of my interactions with him so far have been really awesome. He's been very, very nice, been very thorough. Um, so that's personally all I have to go by about Doug. And he's someone who has deeply inspired me through his videos, through his book, um, and just through the way he communicates, um, in such a clear and interesting way. Um, with that said, I think it's really, really unfortunate, um, what happened at his, um, retreat. I think it was in Costa Rica. Uh, I may be wrong, but, a a young woman, um, uh, went to his fasting retreat and, um, became very ill, became sick. Um, the rumor is that she almost died, um, I, I don't know what happened there. Um, I'm, I'm someone who has done a bit of water fasting myself. Um, and me personally, it, it's, if I ever got to a place where I was feeling sick from it, I would eat that simple. Um, I'm not sure why the girl didn't just eat. Um, I don't know if she was getting bad advice, like telling Doug or telling, telling his workers that she wasn't feeling good and they were just saying, no, that's part of it. Um, I have no idea what happened there, but that whole situation um, with with that girl getting sick, almost dying, and, and then Doug kind of not talking a lot about it, I think that was an unfortunate situation. Um, but I always think that we should let people vindict themselves um, and give people a second chance. Um, he hasn't come out publicly and made a statement about that. So let's wait to see what he says about that. Um, but more to the point of the video, what about him being kicked off and out of the Woodstock fruit festival? Um, to me, it's, to me, it's kind of funny. It's interesting. Um, I, I understand why they did it. Um, but it's kind of like, uh, rock and roll kicking out Elvis Presley from the rock and roll hall of fame. It's like, no, that's, that's like the raw food movement right now is because of Doug Graham. He is the inventor of 801010. He started that movement. Yes, there were some fruitarians um, before him and throughout history, but they didn't they didn't have the swag. They didn't have the ability to rally people. They didn't have um, they didn't have what he has to bring the message to the masses. And so for that fact alone, I don't think that the Woodstock Fruit Festival would even be around if it wasn't for 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 Dr. Graham. Um, so my comments on the whole thing is I think the whole thing is a little bit silly. I have no, um, I mean, I think the Woodstock Fruit Festival would be a a, a fun thing to go and do. Um, I, I'm I'm leery of it simply because of all the awesome people I've 
watched videos of and talked to that have been to it who said there's drama there. Um, and if it's a conscious event about health, love, prosperity, um, being in your body, getting healthy, and there's all this inner drama and inner turmoil, and there's all these um, all these presenters and all all of these gurus. Um, that's that's not that's not really attracting attractive to me. It's not my scene. Um, so my answer is I don't care. Who cares? Dr. Doug Graham's fine without Woodstock Festival, Woodstock Fruit Festival. He's going to do his thing. I hope that he makes some type of public statement or apology about the fasting. But as far as he, he can't go to the Woodstock Fruit Festival anymore, uh, I whoop de doo um, You know, he'll live. Uh, the people going to Woodstock Fruit Festival, they'll live. Everyone will find their happiness. Um, so that's that's kind of how I feel about that. I do believe in second chances and I do believe that in his heart, um, Doug Graham is probably a really good guy. I don't think that he's doing the work that he does because he's trying to be a billionaire. Um, let's all check ourselves. Um, let's, let's all see if we are walking the walk and talking the talk. And, and if we are good, pat yourself on the back and keep moving forward, keep helping other people. Um, but if you're not, if you're stumbling, that's okay too. Just get back on the path, make amends, say you're sorry, um, make up for it, and show people that you can do better. And that's that's really all I have to say about that whole situation. Um, I wish the Woodstock Fruit Festival all the luck in the world. They're spreading a good message. I wish Dr. Doug Graham all the all the luck and all the all the best. And um, what do you guys think? Is this is this even uh, a really a big deal? Um, do you do you care about that? And what what do you what do you think about water fasting? You guys know that I do a little bit of it. Um, is it scary to you? Have you ever tried it? Um, what are your what are your thoughts about water fasting? What are your thoughts about the Wood, Woodstock Fruit Festival and Dr. Doug Graham um, being kicked off the island? So. Leave your comments and questions down below. Again, thanks for watching this video and subscribe and share um, this channel with people who could get help from it. And uh, much love, many blessings, and I'll talk to you.